Hit the subscribe button or visit us at auau.auanet.org. Deep dorsal vein bed plication for ventral penile curvature. Surgical techniques for ventral curvature correction were associated with longer operative time and greater patient dissatisfaction, mainly due to neurovascular bundle dissection. Some studies described a midline dorsal plication technique allowing for an effective correction without requiring neurovascular bundle manipulation. Neuroanatomical studies identified the 12 o'clock position as the only nerve-free location. This video is a compilation of images of three cases utilizing an adaptation of the Giamusu carporoplastic technique. The patient in the main video is a 26-year-old male with a congenital penile deformity, causing apprehension for sexual activity initiation. He had normal erection, libido, and ejaculation. He had no comorbidities. During erection, he presented a 62-degree ventral curvature. Supplementary photographs of other two cases were added to this video. A 77-year-old male with Peyronie's disease and a 68-degree ventral curvature. And a 29-year-old with a congenital 28-degree ventral curvature. A penile block was first performed, followed by an artificial erection to assess the curvature. A subcoronal incision was performed and penile skin and dartos fascia was degloved. Bugs fascia was then incised. Again, the point of maximum curvature was identified through an artificial erection. And deep dorsal vein and its branches were carefully dissected. Small bleeding is controlled with bipolar cautery. In this case, you can see that we marked the beginning, the end, and the point of maximum curvature. The deep dorsal vein was dissected and excised in this area. You can see that the midline position is free from nerves and vessels. After marking the placation site with an Alice clamp, we utilize a three inverted non-observable 2O coated polyester suture for each site. The tip of the Kelly clamp was used to facilitate the imbrication of the suture. In this specific case, we define two sites for placation, one proximal and one distal along the midline on the vein bed. Here you can see the inverted suture. This patient also had a lateral curvature for which we performed an additional plication. For this lateral plication, we used the same inverted sutures. Another artificial erection was then performed to confirm functional alignment. Bugs fascia was closed with 3O polyglycolic acid suture. Circumcision was then performed for penile shaft closure. Once again, penile block was performed. 
stretched flaccid penile length was measured after the procedure and the result was equal to the preoperative value. The three patients shown in this video obtained functional penile alignment and no changes in gland sensation. This video described a feasible and an effective technique for ventral penile curvature treatment, which avoids neurovascular bundle dissection and its associated risks, such as loss of gland sensation and glands necrosis.